know that spots in the brain are common um, and that's kind of why people get misdiagnosed and so what we're proposing is the use of the central vein sign as a tool that will improve the specificity um, of the diagnostic criteria, incorporate into the diagnostic criteria, um, and retain the sensitivity. Um, and so the idea here is that um, the majority of lesions in MS have a small vein that goes through the middle of them, and we've developed technology, um, and we've done this in collaboration with uh, National Institutes of Health, with uh, Pascal Sati. Um, we've developed a technique um, that enables us to image those small vessels inside of lesions. And so we know from previous studies that um, patients who have migraines and they have small spots or people who have vascular disease and they have small spots, you actually can't see veins or you can see veins in only a small proportion um, of those lesions. Versus in MS, it's kind of more than 90% of the lesions will have the central vein. So um, what we're going to be talking about tomorrow is um, the kind of next steps of central vein. So we've developed the technique, we've implemented across several different um, sites, um, and we're trying to develop it kind of within, you know, the MRI machine um, manufacturer so that it becomes kind of something that's readily available clinically. But I think we need kind of a prospective study um, to validate central vein sign as a diagnostic marker in the disease. And so um, that's the study we're doing. That's what we're going to be presenting tomorrow. It's uh, a study we call CAVS MS, which is uh, central vein sign in multiple sclerosis. Um, it's a multi center study where um, we included 10 um, academic sites across the United States that all have um, this special sequence um, installed on the MRI machines to identify the central veins. Um, and our initial pilot study is going to enroll 100 patients um, cross-sectionally. And the long-term goal is to follow um, a larger number of patients, probably 300 or 400 patients, um, with the same MRI over time. And we're going to be taking people who have a, either a clinical or radiological suspicion for the disease um, and essentially applying um, uh, this, this special sequence um, and seeing if that can, one, if it can hasten the diagnosis or if you can make the diagnosis earlier using central vein, and two, um, make sure that the specificity of um, the diagnostic criteria may improve if you add central vein into it, um, even in the people who have kind of these atypical um, syndromes. So that's kind of the overall gist of the study. Um, I think that it's something that um, has the potential to really, um, I would say, be a, a simplified, um, uh, accurate diagnostic marker for the disease. Um, it's not expensive. It doesn't take a long time to do on an MRI scan, probably about three minutes or so. Um, so it's quite rapid. Um, and so we think that it has the potential to really um, help us with the question of misdiagnosis and um, just simplify um, the diagnosis overall.